Electrical Dungeon on the White House position on a vehicle mileage tax for electric vehicles. Can you explain the White House's position and why you'd be opposed to, essentially, it would, wouldn't it level set because people who fill up their cars with gasoline pay into the Highway Trust Fund with the 18.3 cent per gallon excise tax. People who drive electric vehicles, drive on the same roads, they don't pay that tax. Why not? Well, first I would say the president wants to grow the electric vehicle industry, wants more people to buy electric vehicles, wants to make them accessible to people across the country. That will help our climate, help create jobs in that industry as well. And his view is that there are plenty of ways to pay for these proposals, plenty of ways that will not leave the burden on any individuals across the country making less than $400,000 a year. That's the choice, and he feels we should, we should uh, have the burden on the wealthiest Americans as opposed to any other Americans. Americans. What's the long-term structural impact then on the Highway Trust Fund if, as you hope, more Americans drive electric vehicles, fewer people fill up their cars with gasoline? How do you sustain that if fewer people are paying that excise tax over time? I suspect Secretary Pete has thought about this. Um, I'm happy to talk to him about it um, over the long term. But again, the purpose of this proposal is to uh, move to electric vehicles as an industry where people are uh, driving electric vehicles, making our climate uh, making our climate healthier, but also creating jobs in this industry that he feels is an industry of the future.